Hi, this is Scary Star Being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. I am doing readings for this upcoming Libra season. Hi Sagittarius. How are you? I'm just shuffling the cards right now. And sort of enjoying the quiet. Okay, I've got your reading. Let me lay this out. Okay. This is a very interesting reading for sure. Let me put the, I really want to put the right crystals on the right cards, so. Especially before this wind takes my cards. But. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to drop you. Okay, so I picked the rose quartz for these cute little cherubs. Oh my gosh. Aren't they adorable? Um, I'm picking up an energy that uh, some of you might be a mom or you might have children, okay? And the reason why I say this is um, we've got the symbol for cancer, the astrological mother here, and we have Mercury here. And three, so this is three of cups, so some of you might be having some big heart-to-hearts with your children uh, during this Libra season. And if you don't have children or know any children or anything like that, you might be just uh, having a playful time with friends even, like enjoying some nights on the town with friends okay uh, maybe you're having drinks and you're spilling your innermost emotions to friends anyway and you know cups are water uh, water signs are Pisces Scorpio Cancer so yeah, I almost want to say that this could also be an energy of almost like there's this newness here. There's like these people are sharing and they're growing something with what they share. So this could be a brand new relationship or friendship and um, you're just able to be your carefree self with whoever this is, okay? Or whoever. Whatever. Alright. I liked that. Okay, I've got my, my angel amethyst. And I've got it with the ten of pentacles. I'm getting... An energy, because here we have that Mercury again, guys, and we have um, Virgo right there. I'm getting like there are some sort of plans being made. Possible future plans. Um, this could even be like a work collaboration. Because um, Three of Cups can be about creativity, right? And... Um, emotional expression and 
Ten of Pentacles is like coming into the jackpot of all jackpots, okay? The jackpot of ideas, the jackpot of relationships, um, something of the sort. Whatever it is, it's going to bring in a lot of abundance, okay? Look at how proud and radiant this bull looks. He's like not to be messed with, okay? So I want to say that nothing can interfere with this. I also want to say that this could be being divinely guided and protected, whatever this is. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Wands. What's up, Sagittarius? Um, this could be you. This queen is a fiery queen. She's either an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But I really want to say it's you, okay? I want to say that... First, I want to say your crown chakra is lit up AF right now, okay? So you guys might be completely connected to the divine realms at this time during Libra season, okay? And uh, you guys are sitting on your thrones, your throne of power. And this lady looks a little cocky or not cocky, but... What what's the right word? Not cocky, not arrogant, proud. There you go. Sorry. She looks so proud of herself right here, okay? Because she is she's at full power right now, okay? When you put yourself on a pedestal, it can be toppled over, but when you put yourself on a throne, that throne is stable and sturdy and cannot be toppled over very easily, right, Sagittarius? So, yeah. Coming into your full power and strength here. And it could be it could be because, you know, you may have been able to really let go of some things that were blocking your abundance, okay? And making you feel powerless, so now you're coming into your power because you let go of some things. And this could have been because of a relationship, because of um, a new project or endeavor, or, you know, or something of the sort. But the last card we have is the Hierophant. And we have Taurus right here, okay? This is actually card of Taurus. Yeah, um, I'm getting an energy of not exactly that you're forsaking anything, but that you've become your own moral authority, I want to say, perhaps, Sagittarius. Like, the Hierophant is somebody that knows, they know what it is that they believe in, alright? This can even be a card that talks about marriage, even. Um, some sort of union with you and the divine realms. Yeah, I just saw 9-11, guys. Um, you might want to Google that. Yeah, I'm really think thinking that you are really becoming connected to the divine realms, like, in a big way, like, upgrade way. You guys are going to be getting downloads and upgrades and just inspiration. And I love air sign seasons for that very reason, because that's exactly what they bring, isn't it? Okay, well, Sagittarius, as always, I am wishing you the best. I think you guys are dope. I will talk to you later. Bye.